Uh, at least the first half of it. Oh, shit. Hit the wrong button. We are live. Oh, what's up, everybody? Yep. It's your boy Steve O.D. from the 3 three coming at you on another <laughs> Friday night RC Hangout. Uh, we got a couple guys on the panel with me. Uh, Sticky's RC, Rich is with us. Hey, everybody. JM's RC, John. How you doing, guys? We got feedback. Uh oh. oh. Oops. Definitely it? not me, anyway. Ah, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eleven Charlie's in the house. Javier. Cool. Kevin Gibbs, welcome in, brother. And that Sean's RC Adventures. Paul Gear, welcome in. Hey, what's up, guys? RC Voodoo Daniel's in the house. What's up, guys? All right, now let me get this chat pop out. I thought I had mine on uh, mute, but I forgot. Mute, yeah, it. that's that's what happened to me last time. It's just yeah, they change automatically. I think. Was... Swampers, welcome in. Hey, Bill, how you doing, guys? Hey, Ooh, guys. Here, Kevin Gibbs, sup, sup. Kevin Meister, what's going on? Yes, sir. Riff Rap RC, how you doing, man? Riff Rap, brother. How's that Komodo coming along? Uh, he's building the Komodo now? Yeah, sweet, he's building sweet, the Komodo. Man. Because of you? Because Sh of you? Sh Sean is, is contagion everybody. It's like the freaking flu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a, such an underestimated rig. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah. So underestimated. It, 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 I'm looking. I'm looking at the upgraded version part of it. Uh, there's a version kit. It does. It just don't have the the body, but everything's so great. I don't know the price. I'm just looking into. Yeah, it, it has all the metal links and has everything already. Everything is yeah. everything is metal upgraded to the max. And is then, that a new kit that they they got coming out? Oh, uh, I don't know. I think I don't remember. It's already out there or it's coming out. Uh, I, I think it's already out there. It's already yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, the and only they upgrade kit to what they yes. have. So Every, everything is is. I think we we should share it. Yeah, their stuff is their stuff is that cheap anyway. Like the metal links, yeah. if you yeah. go on if you go on their own website, like their metal links is only seventeen dollars. Yeah, all wow. the links. Yeah, and it, they ship pretty quick as well. Yeah, yeah. You know? hey, yeah Uncle Lee. Hey, Fern Solo, welcome in, brother. Hey, Fern. It's coming along great. So it's rough, rough. Sweet, sweet. Okay, Brad, we get it. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like searching my my. I, I guess now. I got scared for a minute. Yeah. Well, I I was actually surprised. Brad never even commented on my last Timmy a Tuesday video. He knows <laughs> to stay away from my channel. <laughs> yeah. Isn't oh, that the video I, I got? I got there first, and I said, "Whoa, I can't believe I beat Brad here on a Tamiya video." Yeah, I know that's <laughs> the one. Yeah, <laughs> the one. Well, Sean, I think he's finally figured out if you uh, screw with the bull, you're gonna get the horns there. Yeah, that's yeah. it. You know? <laughs> Did you find that, uh, Javier? I'm looking for it. As soon as oh, I okay. find it, I'm gonna share it. Sure, with you guys. Yeah. Um, That's it. It's a really, it is a really good kit. Like, cause it has all metal gears anyway. All the yes. dirt, all the uh, everything, metal links, yeah. everything. But is the metal. one, the one that comes originally has all metal gears in the transmission. It has all metal yeah. diffs. It has everything. The only thing it's plastic on it is the links. Like so. I, I think it's the GRS one. Is it price star right? Kit. Or, or is it expensive? No, it's, it's not expensive either. Like, but I don't think it comes with a body though. Yeah. No, it, the body. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't come with the body. Mm. And it show, I think I found it. It shows. It shows the old style of body. The 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 single cap. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Bucks World. What's up? Hey, uh, uh, Brandon mm -hmm. Timlin, Doc Seven Seven Seven. What's going on? Welcome. Hey, mm -hmm. Net Cruiser. Hey, welcome yeah. in. That yeah. Williams RC in there. Yeah. He's from what UK. Hey, you go. Oh, welcome, brother. Hey, yeah. Welcome. Who is it? Uh, Liam. Liam. Yeah. Liam's RC. Oh, Liam's I think that's, RC. Think that's, yeah, yeah. Think that's that's Claire's husband. 
No, yeah. no, 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 no. no. He's it's Mr. Him. Clare. Liam's is a young kid. He's only it's... like he's only. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah, that Leon, the, Ian, Ian is uh, Claire's yeah. Uh, husband. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. okay. That's that's where I got it screwed up with. Yeah, yeah. That that is Leon. That's a youngster. How you doing, Leon? Oh, Welcome, brother. Yeah, people waiting in the. I hate that. It yeah. doesn't like beep or anything. Let me know that someone's waiting. We got Way Bucks RC. How you doing, brother? It's going, John from Net Cruiser. I'll send you an invite in case yeah. you want. Dustin, Welcome in. We got Dustorn. Dust howdy, Storm. howdy, Jake. How you doing, guys? Hey Jake. So you, uh, you, he's, he's actually sixteen. Liam's RC. Yeah, that's yeah. Sad. yeah I see that. He's it's a more different than Liam. sixteen, bro. Yeah. You look <clears> young, <throat> Liam. You should be proud that I said you were twelve. It means you're really young. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Brandon, Brandon Timlin, how you doing, man? Let me know. I, I found it, Steve. Let me know when you want me to share it. Oh, shoot. oh yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead. Okay. I was just sending John an invite. Got you. Let me see. I'm good. Oh, hey, honey, Lulu. Ask uh, Steve, you gotta go to your settings and let uh, let us uh, share because oh. when when it did the upgrade, it changed by itself. Okay, where's uh, that? If you if you see on the bottom, I think on the left side next to participant, it should be something. I don't remember what it says. Yeah, but... down at the bottom, it should say share screen. Oh. It should be uh, a green arrow. No, no, a uh, settings, settings or security. Oh, so yeah, you it yeah, it says security. It? Okay, it says allow for participants Cl to just click. share screen. There yeah, you go. Just put the oh, arrow. Okay. Let me see. I can do it now. Yes. All right. Yeah, cool. yeah. Can, uh... So uh, let me see. Fondry <clears throat> RC, welcome in, brother. Hey, Fondry. How you doing, man? Hey, what's, what's going on, Gary? I see, I see there. Uh, I see Honey Lulu. How you doing, Honey Lulu? Oh no, Javier! That's the that's, that's the GSO one. That's the first Komodo. That's the first one, right? Yeah, that's the GSO one. Okay, that's okay. Let me see. Let me go back. But it, exactly the other kit, it comes like this. Everything is everything is is like yeah, this. Yeah, that, that the new the new one's the GSO two. That's yeah, the first okay. one that I have there as well. Who's that? Chrome. So yeah, it's yeah, it's all. Chrome. It's nice actually. Like let me see. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. So let me go back. Let me stop this sharing and look for the right one. You said it. Well, we could do it here with you guys. So you guys want to see this. Oh, is... That's that. That's actually that one. Yeah. Has all the Chrome chassis and everything on it. Products. Of oh, vehicle. I need to do away with that stupid background. Hold on. A GS2 double cap. Uh, double cap oh, kit. TA Pro chassis kit. That, that's what it is? Okay, sweet. I think so. So uh, let me click on it. And okay, that's what it is right there. Yeah. Is it doesn't see it? Yeah, price. That, that's it, Javier. All the metal links and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the one. Uh, I don't see a price here. You got. Uh, it's actually not that it's more expensive. I don't think so. So it doesn't yeah. have it, it. So it says here uh, uh, equipment needed to not include it. So electronic, of course, transmitter, all that stuff. Yeah, the body and the and the wheels and and, and tires. So yeah, because that one's more just like a builder's kit that you can do yeah. whatever you want with it. Put your own bodies, put everything well, on. What does it on. say rear cantilever? But it don't have rear cantilever. I I believe that kit comes with the option for the the rear shock hoops. Okay. The pitched shock. Yeah, the pitched the back cantilever. like the ones that they have on the boom. You okay. can put the ones on the boom on that kit. So you guys see here, uh, I don't see, you guys see this, so I don't know where I'm at. So it's Harden Universal Shop. You, see, you guys see their heavy duty yeah. diff lockers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, got brass steering uh, knuckle bushing. Uh, okay. Aluminum. Uh, okay. Let's see the hexes. Eight millimeter. Okay. So it's going to, it's a wider. Okay. See the springs. Got uh, yeah. Green and, and 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 red. Nice. I know this frame. If I'm not mistaken, this one that is red, right? Uh, it comes red. No, it comes black like that. Like that? Okay. So. Yeah, it comes black like that. I think I think as you're uh, scrolling through it, there, Javier, they, they had they had the red edition. It was the was the old one. The old the old one, right? The old one. Yeah. Okay. That was the old one, I believe. 
Yeah, so you you can set three different wheel lengths on it. Okay, I see. So you can there, set yeah. it at eleven. You can set it at like eleven point four, twelve. Yes. Yes. Uh, 12 yeah, it says 300, 313, and 324. Yeah, yes, yes. The three different wheelbases, which is pretty cool, you know. So, and most of the SCX 10 two parts will fit yeah. it. Will fit in there? Wow, that, I didn't know that. That's that's yeah. good to know. Uh, it's good to know. So, everything is, is forward. You see the motor and everything there. So now you see the links, everything here. Yeah, everything's all done metal. You see the ah, you mentioned this before, the angle on the on the yeah, they turn the, the axles. Pump, yeah, they turn the pumpkin upside down. Okay. So it gives you a crazy clearance like for small wheels. Uh, yeah. But that one doesn't come with a wheel, so you could put bigger one point nines on yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you want, like you know. Battery tr a tray, so it's that's forward, right? The the battery tray. I don't have this one, so I don't know. It's, it goes forward, right? Yeah, it's battery tray. It's it's the same location like as an front. SCX. 10. Okay, yeah. that that's a weight box. Gotcha. I know they say electronics box, but it's in underneath the. It's in underneath the truck. You actually fill that with weights. Yeah, I, I know. Perfect. I know you mentioned. Yeah, you mentioned yeah. that before. Yes. So a front and here uh, rear bumper mount. Oh, look at the, the yeah, the skid plate. Is that metal? It looks the skid plate protect. No, it's actually like a hard that's, plastic. Yeah. Okay. But this is the upgraded part. I don't know. Is yeah, it? I think that's still, like, I think they still kept that hardened plastic though. Gotcha. It'd make it slide a little bit easier. So look at the drive train here on it. Yeah. I like those metal axles. The me yeah, right? look like the, MIP. the hardened steel drive lines are nice. Wow. They look like those yeah. MIPs, don't they? I know, yeah. I know, right? Hmm. I never seen this, uh, you know, up this close, especially this kid. Now I'm getting yeah. more, more interested in it, you know? This new? Yeah, uh, well, this is the kit. This is the, right? This is the new version. Yeah, well, it's a newer builder's kit. Just yeah. um, Up without upgraded. the body and wheels. Yeah. yeah, everything's upgraded except, yeah, we don't have the body, wheels, and tires. Yeah, so just get, and that's how they reduce the, the torque twist because see where it's opposite direction. Okay. Like uh, for yes. one shaft turns one way and the other shaft turns the other way. Okay. So it's a dual uh, sleeper clutch. Is that the same system in your shop? Yeah, it's the same. Everything's the exact same. Only I've got plastic links and plastic drive shafts. It's okay. only a difference. All the rest, the metal gears, everything's the same. Like you got so. plastic links. Yeah, just on just in the just the four links, but the steering links and all are all aluminum. Like the pan hard bar and the steering links and all are all aluminum, but they're really hard plus they're, they're actually really good links to come with yeah. it. Okay, so it got some optional parts here and two speed high low parts. Yeah, that's if you want to add in the two speed transmission. <laughs> Excuse me. So I see uh, uh, easy adjustment of the motor mount. Okay. Yeah, it's got a pre pre drill. Pre drill. Oh. That's kind of like the uh, yeah the the XE Extend three comes with that. Yeah, a lot of the tracks has come like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Real, like, so. so here we see the angle. Yeah, and that's um, how they keep a lot of the clearance. The steering, the turn radius on the Komodo, mm -hmm. I don't know how they do it, but that thing can turn better than any truck I have. It's got a smaller turn mm -hmm. pattern yeah. than any single truck I have. It's heavy due to diff locker and the, car, the, the CVD, CVAs, I'm sorry, kit, hardened carbon steel. Yeah, see the, the steering angle on the bloody thing. It's wow, crazy. that's crazy! Look at look look at that rear one. The tire is like yeah. <laughs> getting inside the freaking body or something. Yeah, it's crazy. Like the steering angle they get. They get Almost the drifter angles. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, okay. This is the shocks here, bro. I, I'm, I don't I don't know about you guys, but I'm I'm liking this here. Yeah, it is. It's a great kit. Like I. Yeah. Uh, there's the cantilever system. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is the option part that you mentioned, Rich, right? Yeah. So you can have a cantilevered shocks or else the regular shocks. Okay. And that, you don't get that with the ready to run, just the kit? No, but you can buy, you don't get it with this kit either. It's an optional part you can buy. Oh, okay. uh, here you see it. Here you see it on the on, on the picture. Yeah. So if you want to do a truggy body. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. SUV body and everything. Look, look how they 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 
put it in, so we'll see how it looks. That's yeah, good, and they, they give you all um, they give you all the body posts as well in the kit. Yeah. So you get all the body posts for whatever yeah. type of body you want to put on it. For it, yeah, sweet. Mm -hmm. What that's is this? The, that's shock. the cantilever shock. That's um, crazy, bro. Yeah. Look at that. One that's where it tilts them over. Yeah. So you can get rid of the rear shock towers. Wow, that is crazy, man. Yeah, like G me had actually thought of a lot of stuff, like, and the oh. perform. That's why it performed so great, like you know. So okay, rear shock hoops. Okay. What's well, different shock with each set? Each setup you choose. Yeah. Hmm. Specs. Yeah, two hundred millimeter, three point three wheel. Uh, yeah, wheelbase. Uh, thirteen. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, that's the standard. 13. That's yeah. the standard size. And then you can make it shorter, or you can okay. make it longer. Because the original one, like this one here, mm -hmm. this original one, it's only eleven point four. Okay. So th this one, you can actually put a D ninety okay. on and everything, like so. That's the original oh, all. Sweet. Like everything's all aluminum, even the reels and everything. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, uh, the chrome ones, the chrome rails. Yeah, that's the original one. It has all the chrome rails and everything. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Like, it is. I see a do our island RC Duke. How you doing, man? Yeah, we got a bunch of people. I, I didn't have the chat up when we were looking yeah. at that, so I probably missed a lot. If you guys Mars. have a question that you that you want to ask again, you can go ahead, but I'm going to skim through here and see who we got. Um, RC Propaganda, how's it going? Uh, uh, RC Intro, Mick, what's going on? Hey, Mick. Swampers, Swampers RC, Bill, how's it going? Rob B RC and stuff. How's it going? Island RC Duke. Um, Honey Lulu, how's it going? Yeah, we just Taurus Jack. What's going on? Kent hey, RC. Hey Jack. Good day, Jack. Yeah. So if I was you, Javier, I would spend your money on that kit instead of wasting your money on an ultra. Uh, uh too late, bro. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm looking uh, something for Jeremy, for Jeremy, uh, for, for USD. It's if you, yeah, if you buy that for Jeremy, you're going to end up driving that more and you'll drive the Ultra. Shh, that's the idea. Shh. No. <laughs> it's two ninety nine for that kit. It's that bad with all those upgrades. Yeah, that's not whatsoever. No? And, and, and how much is that body? Uh, those... The body's not bad. You can actually get the Jimmy bodies for like... Forty dollars, forty-five dollars. But when they send you a body, they send you everything. They send you the roof racks, oh, the snorkels. That, like, that so was my send, yeah. That was my next question. The, 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 did it come with that? So it's yeah, not it bad, comes bro. With all the accessories for the body. They don't just send you a plain Lexan body. They send you all the accessories. So I, I, I'm thinking about do, doing this one for Jeremy, and yeah, for USD for next year. So I still got time. Yeah, that's awesome, man. RC Workbench is in the house. What's going on, bud? Hey, brother. How you doing, man? Crash King RC is in the house. How's it hey, going? Hey, brother. Mm. There's my UST truck over there. Oh, so, so where is it? Oh, so, I can't wait to see that in person. Yeah. Can't wait, man. <laughs> that one. Does it look uh, like, does it the picture or does it look like it's bowing? I know. I was gonna say that. Uh, I like... just don't have it bolted in right there. So. Okay. Just sit and see. I don't even have it screwed in or anything. So yeah. It's just sitting there. Hey Jack, how you doing, brother? So that one will be at USTE. Um, this one will be at USTE. Sweet, sweet. <clears throat> uh, Riff Raffs wants to know, Sean and Stickies, did you guys get softer rear springs for your Komodos? Rich changed his. I didn't change mine. I kept mine. They actually they loosen up themselves. So okay, we got here. We got everyday RC. How you doing, man? Hey, Chris. Welcome, man. Thanks for stopping in. Bro. And then this is the build I'm working on for UST as well, Javier. 
Nice. What, so this what, is the one that Voodoo is actually sending me the whole motor for. Oh, sweet. What, what, chas open up. What, yeah. chas what chassis is that? Is that the XCX10 too? That's SCX10 too. Yeah. Okay, sweet. What wheels are that? Those are small wheels, right? They're small 1.55 from um, RC four-wheel drive Goodyear's. Okay. It reminds me of like the gangster trucks back in the day with the little rims. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> put, put oh, some... I, I, once you put the body down, it actually the rims go nicely inside it, like you know. Right. Just how it's setting up like that. I'm, I'm still, you, know, you know, I'm still looking at this kid, bro. <laughs> Scott Zillow, what's going on? Scott Zillow, what's up? You kind of bought Scott. Think about this, Javier. You could have bought four of them kits for the price know, of that all. I know, but I'm. I'm, I'm four of them Komodos. You I'm opened hard, up a can of worms. I, yeah, I'm hard headed, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, this is the idea. Eventually, I'm going to trade it in for two RC4 with drives fully yeah, that's upgraded, it. bro. That's it. You know, you have to know how to trade, though. You have to have that brogue and that gift. You bro, know? I, I've been saving for that one for a while. Plus, then we got that little help. In the mail, so I say, Oh, I got it, man. Yeah, yeah, because I, I bought then, then I had to give the rest away to the boss, so yeah, she smacked me around. I was, I was bossing Justin's balls today about it, even because he he bought the he bought the air racing brass, um, brass weights, okay, but they won't work with Vanquish, you have to buy oh. just Vanquish brass weights, gotcha. So that's I, I was bossing his balls, and I said. So Vanquish wants more of your money to upgrade a truck that they sell says doesn't need upgraded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. We'll see. We'll see how it. Oh, it Scott. just. It... Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Sorry. Oh, I said Scott. So I said working in my room tonight. Got you guys on my TV. Oh no. Oh. Hey, screen. <laughs> Are you grounded, Scott? Are you cleaning? <laughs> yes, strange. I did that. I was grinding today. Well, you clean the room. Clean yeah, the room. A, you're not you're not getting out of here until you clean this mess. Go, okay. Yeah, ref raff. The stock tires that come with a Komodo are actually really good tires. Them things are sticky yeah. and trippy, and yeah. they're actually really good tires. Yes, yes. I, I saw them in person. How to perform? Yes, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Like, you would think you would think Javier, you actually seen me driving the Komodo and the Vanquish together at mm -hmm. USTE. Yeah, you've seen the Komodo out driving the Vanquish. Yeah, but you still bought a Vanquish. Doesn't make sense to me. I want to see this one because this one that got is is slower. It's lower than the than that one. So I just want to yeah the portals on yeah. it. But yeah, it's like I, you have to upgrade straight away. You have to upgrade wheels, tires. Well, I, like, so, I, so. I already had that for a while. That's why it's not uh because yeah, I've been thinking yeah, this for a year now. Yeah, so. but you have to get Vanquish rims, though, remember. That's the problem with Vanquish. A lot of off-the-market stuff doesn't fit. Uh, dun, dun, already, dun, got dun. The, already got the wheels and tires. Yeah, he already has them set up. Nice. Got some, some weight in it. Yeah. So, yeah. What do they call that when a company uh, only sells you uh, stuff Pro that fits? Proprietary or something? Yeah, isn't it? proprietary. Yeah. Like, at least Trax is no <laughs> make. At least a lot of their stuff's proprietary, but they make it where off the off market off stuff market parts work on it and fit on it. Yeah. Like yeah. a lot of yeah, racing stuff works and fits and yeah. a lot of all that stuff. It just it just it it just preference because like in my. Uh, XCX 10 too, um, but it, it's not at all at once. I, and I get, yeah, that. Yeah. I have over 15 in there. You yeah. know, it get it, it adds on pretty quick. You that's know? the thing, and all that's why time. it's hard for a lot of people to buy Vanquish because yeah, it's yeah. hard there and then to just spice out 900 bucks in one go. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I had. I, I, it was a. I, I, pay, I think it was a 40, but I had to save for a while for it. So yeah. A firmware, a firm, uh, what's it called? Uh, well, I, I lowered mine down. I was going to use it, but I finally lowered it. Yeah. I like, I, I like, I like the, the balance that it has now before it was yeah. like. 
I it's like to free you. money. It's like yeah. free money, right? When you well, get to well, well, you know what? It, it charges you less uh, uh, interest than credit credit cards and all the stuff, man. And the way that it is, I like it because you can pay anytime. You can put a down payment. It doesn't charge it. It doesn't charge you or whatever, you know? So yeah. if, if you have extra $20 just dropping in, that's what I did. Now I have it on the single digits. That's yeah. Great. Nice, <laughs> nice. So Jack, what video is Jack talking about, Voodoo? He said, "Nice comment on the clickbait video." What? <laughs> Dang, uh, Jack, you said, "Nice comment on the clickbait video, Dan." LOL. What clickbait video are you talking about? I didn't think Jack even had a channel anymore. Mm. He has the guitar channel and he's got um, really... Mine or his? Do I have one? No, he said his his clickbait video. Nice comment on his clickbait. No, I don't think it was his clickbait. He did, it must have been somebody else's. He said nice comment on, oh, on my clickbait video. Yeah. Uh, uh, STL, sign. How you doing, brother? Welcome. What's going on, buddy? Leo Watson, what's up, man? We got Ken RC. How you doing, man? Can, Leo Watson says, "Can you put a brushless system in the drift car?" Drift Dan. That's that's a question for Drift Dan. What was the question? Can you put a brushless system in a drift car? Yeah, you definitely can run brushed in a drift car. I what, wouldn't, but you can. What 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 mainly the, the people that you 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 went to uh, you know go drifting what they what kind of system they have brush or brushless there brushless was a 10.5 turn okay yeah that's what he's asking can you put brushless in okay. a drift car okay. rc workbench said he picked up his bomber sabi today just trying to figure out what axle parts i need to remove first oh if you see uh, the new the new bomber the 2.0 yeah, that's right exactly. there. That's the one he picked up there. He right said, behind oh. Rich. Oh, oh, yeah. Rich, Rich. Rich got <laughs> one. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Tony, Tony done an unboxing and ended up, and it ended up an unboxing tore down the other and, day. An upgrading part yeah. right, right there. Straight away, tore down and upgraded right away on the unboxing. Hey, Robert RC, New Hampshire. How you doing, man? Having seen you, bro. Thank you for stopping by, bro. Yes, definitely. Barbecues in the house too. What's yeah. going on, bud? Hey, barbecue. barbecue. Thank you. Friday, it is Friday, you're right. Mets RC too, just jumped in. Hey, Mets. He said, don't forget to hit that like button, 34. And then only sweet. nine likes. What? Well, <laughs> come on now. We, and we already have this like, come on, guy. <laughs> it's, it's Memorial Day weekend. We should, you know, get a... Uh, yeah, uh, Fern, that, right? Fern, Solo, Fern Solo is what asking. Has anybody watched the movie Flying Cars? Yet? Oh, not yet. I don't want to. I don't want to waste two hours of my life. <laughs> I, I heard it's actually not as good though. Yeah, I heard yeah, it's not it's as a... bad as what Josh and fucking Matt were making it out to be. They they made it sound like it was horrible. The the trailer well, looked corny as shit but, yeah, but tony tony T tony tony like they say it's not that bad it, tony said it is it, it's okay yeah well, and, he's and, in the waiting yeah. room right now who tony <laughs> yeah oh tony was here and oh, so there you go yeah, we got tony, tony. your side words so steve oh steve oh you you like you watch general hospital so you kind of i don't watch everybody, no general tony, hospital. Will all, everybody <laughs> turn your head to the side so we can look at tony so it, it, it's kind of it's kind of like a soap opera RC. They done, Donnie. There you go, Tony. That's you. Yeah. Perfect. Right, Tony. Uh, the movie isn't that bad. The RC movie. You know, Matt and Josh dogged on it big time. Okay. It's not. It's, it doesn't make RC look cool. It doesn't make hobby shops look cool. Okay. Uh, the. The hobby shop owner is kind of a douchebag. Um, the the main character isn't likable, and he's not redeemable. Oh, yeah. So, okay. oh, um, RC basically ruins his life. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't that happen to a lot of us? But yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed it honestly. Like, yeah. as much as they hated it, I I enjoyed the whole thing. Now your brain has to like turn off because certain things don't make sense. Like there's a cute girl doing like the check-in at the RC race, whatever. 
Um, <laughs> and she's going to teach him all about how to drive a car and, you know. I haven't seen this yet. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 I'm not going to give away anything, but um, <laughs> so your mind just has to make a few jumps. All that's in the trailer. You, you yeah, get that yeah. from the trailer. Gotcha. But um, yeah, there's some there's some leaps your brain takes. Mm -hmm. They call it uh, what suspended disbelief, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so mo a lot of movies do that. You have to basically step outside of reality for them to work. Yeah and overlook some of the glaring i mean that's why i don't know if you guys have seen hishi before how it should have ended on youtube so even the major movies like they show how like the whole thing could have ended in the first five minutes of the movie or like all the flaws like uh, I, I, I was, the movies like uh, guardians of the galaxy where they're all shooting yeah. at individual windows and they're like Everybody fire at the same window at the same time. I see Drifto is asking you for a link there, Steve. Drifto is asking you for a link. I I say it's worth ten bucks. Other people disagree. Okay. And say it's the worst movie they've ever seen. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. I, I, I had to realize I had to reevaluate my whole life after watching it. Yeah, because it felt too real, bro. Especially now <laughs> this time, if you don't have nothing to do, so I've been watching freaking Netflix like left and right. So oh, sometimes some horror movies. So, yeah. yeah. Well, it, uh, it hit too close to home, and it, <laughs> the things that it makes fun of and makes shines a bad light on. Yeah, gotcha. it's your insider. It can be kind of funny, you know. Like, yeah. yeah. He's filming everything, you know, with the GoPro and every, you know, okay. with online. Not YouTube, but yeah. RC New Hampshire says they should have cameos with Tony in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, RC propaganda. So most movies make you take a few jumps. Tony yeah. Lulu thinks we should make our own movie. I know, right? Well, yeah. Tony, the camera, Tony, the director, cut editor. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing is, this guy's a video editor. And he's like going out on his lunch breaks, driving RCs, and I'm thinking, oh my god, <laughs> that's why I head so close to home. I know, yeah. right? Where do you sign up, huh, Tony? <laughs> I already did, man. We already did. Yeah. yeah. If, if people wants to see it, where, where do they go and, and download it at? Google Play. They put it on Vimeo. You can rent, uh, pay for it to watch on Vimeo. It's only pay to watch right now. Okay. In June, you can rent it. I think I paid ten bucks on um, iTunes, nine ninety nine. Okay. But somebody said it was six bucks on Google Play. Okay. Mm. So, no, I don't so know. It was, it was like nine ninety nine on Amazon. Movie with RC Team Associates involved some. Mm -hmm. So it's really called the life and times of CCXRC. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't destroy my life and everybody else's like he does. I don't, not yet at least, not yet. <laughs> Give me some time. It's, it may happen. Another couple of Ramanators in, you will be okay, you know. <laughs> right. Well, I have that Bari build coming. Uh -huh. They, he said the chassis is en route to him right now. He had to have a chassis cut for me. So. Oh, nice, sweet, sweet. sweet. Yeah. That thing's gonna be sick. Dude, what happens? J Concepts just released a son of a digger that they called the uh, uh, Junior Morticianer, I think they called it. What? Like, let, you know, let me, son of a me... digger, Junior Morticianer. Or... Yeah, yeah, uh, I just saw that. It, it's like... I'm looking at like Yeah, and they have that Buick, the Grand yeah. National. Yeah, that the yeah, that black Eagle? Buick or something. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. I've seen the Grand National or whatever that. it was. Okay. Yeah, that, that looks me, good. You that, want me to share it, uh, Steve? -o? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ordered one of those things already. <laughs> Matt, Matt's RC said Tony celebrity in the house. Let me see. <laughs> where, where did it go? It was oh. That there's the okay. stuff the digger, junior mortician there. Mortician. Okay. Which that one scaled much better than the uh, drive RC one. I mean, Not much better, but the hood looks a little better. Let me see. What is the price on it? Okay, $35, $35 for that body. Oh, that ain't bad. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, Heck, you can buy, you can buy that body and uh, put it on as a basher body. You know why it's probably cheaper is because they didn't get licensing for it, right? Yeah. yeah probably. What, what, what? Son of a digger sticker sheet. Let me see. Well, that's where the cost will be. If you buy that, it's probably another 60 bucks to buy the sticker sheet. Yeah. What is the other body? They, they, you mentioned another one, right? Oh, we saw the grand That one, man. This one? Yeah. Oh, this is it, like the Monte Carlo one, right? Oh, yeah, the Grand National. What? Oh, yes. Bro, <laughs> that my, thing is beautiful, man. A, a, a buddy of mine had one of these, man. We had well, too much fun in it. That's the Pent Mobile. Yeah, bro, that's <laughs> bro. That was that, that's a heck of a car, man. Had a lot of power. Yeah, that's the one I ordered today. Wow, that's sweet, man. Fifty-one dollars for that one. It's a twelve point what thirteen inch uh, wheelbase. Yeah, it's a street eliminator, so it'll fit on like the GR10 and the Slash. Got you. That's nice, man. That is a good looking body right there. Something different than what they got right now out there. Oops. I hope they start coming out with more and more uh, drag bodies. What did I do? I, I messed think it up. probably will. Like, yeah. I messed it up. <laughs> Speaking of the slash, after this, John Martin, you need to tell me how do you um, set up this DTS system. It will not bind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not right you now. Gonna, because you're going to create the house. Pain, everybody. Yeah, no, and my daughter has been playing with the don't want to paint with background. With that. <laughs> <laughs> we got a doll rich, rich super bash in the house. No, oh. oh, man. Uh, rich, what's up, man? Hey, Rich, hey. how you doing, man? That gives yeah, not too bad, thanks, guys. Yeah, I've been uh, playing around with them. Um, some of my smaller stuff, obviously, while they're sheltering in place, is on here, and I managed to squeeze in um, Traxxas. Valinian three and a half thousand KB motor into the uh, WL Toys one four four. Oh Zero lord! One. <laughs> oh it lord. looks like you kind of sticking it into the side of your head. There it was kind of going wonky. I didn't see it. It, it will. It will do like a uh, like a double black flip in the blink of an <laughs> eye. It's just gonna need so much. You'll have to turn. you have to turn your background off, Richie. You now, see the baby. I know. How do I change that? Because my daughter, so you, you, if you just go in. If you just go in the beside. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get me in trouble. They say stop video, hit the little arrow video, beside yeah, it, and yeah. then you'll see virtual backgrounds. Yeah, yeah. He was, virtual... he was laughing the other week when she was playing around with it. Yeah, so you have to change, <laughs> change virtual background. Well, yeah, mind you, better be careful, don't put the wrong picture. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so just go to where if you want to show something, yeah, yeah no, go... I'm, I'm working through it, I'm working through it. Yeah, yeah so just yeah. go to where it says none, and then where it says none. That'll take away your background. Owens RC Garage just joined in. What's hey. going on? Thank you for stopping in. Rob BRC. Hey, Rob. Have a good one, going, brother. Take it easy, Rob. Hey, Rob. Take care, brother. Trying to look through this chat, seeing if I missed any. Yeah, that's what I'm looking to ground nice uh, <laughs> You're in the same spot I am. Bob Q says, I like J Concepts bodies. I own a few. Honey Lou says, I need that in my life. I think she was talking about the Grand National. You get a nice big electric car up behind you, Richie. Yeah, you gotta press none. Yeah, you just pull up the word says none, Richie. Yeah, you know, I'm like, that's, that's not an electric car, that's a McLaren F1, guys, isn't it? Yeah, but I thought, uh, is that not the P? Is that not the McLaren P? Yeah, the, the PF P1. Yeah, so that's electric, no? Well, yeah, hybrid, technically. Yeah, 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 yeah. but it's electric. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Kevin Gibbs, for the donation. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Sweet, sweet. Nice. <clears throat> Big Mac 1999. <laughs> Richie's back home on the London Bridge. Hey, Big Mac, how you doing, man? So what's everybody up to for the holiday weekend? Um, John Martin said he's going to racing tomorrow. Yep. 
I seen that. I watched your video earlier there, John, where you were out doing some test hits. Yeah. Right there. Uh, oh, yeah. Cool. It's out working at it again today, too. So, yeah. Oh, look, Tony's getting that drag slice ready to. Tony's getting that ready to tear up the pavement. Yeah, I'm trying to get it to bind with this system here. <laughs> and when it's oh, 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 that D. You're trying other. to bind the car to it? The no, I'm trying to, I got the radio to bind to it all, but it won't link to it so that it can read the timing and all that. Oh, okay. It's supposed oh. to show the system inside this app. It's supposed to have a green little yep. light being yep. inspected. Yep. And it won't connect. You I've got the process a thousand times. Wow. Later, Jack. Take care, oh, man. Well, welcome to setting the DTS up. Later, Jack. Jack. Later, Jack. Was I not the only one the other week that when Tank did that thing on the no prep drag race and everybody thought, hang on, you do have to do a lot of prep on it, although there's no prep on the track. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of people that I've explained that to this week and said, what, no prep drag racing? I'm not interested in that because it's like too boring. You don't have to do anything to your car. I never said no, no, it's no prep to the track. You have to do everything to your car, you can. And like, oh, okay. Right. Honey Lulu, that sounds awesome. You, her, Wayne, and Fern are heading to Stone Mountain again. Oh, sweet man! Yeah, that's yeah, that's awesome. what I was some, looking. Looking at some at crawling and then some bison. Stone Mountain. Looking at the chat, Oyster Propaganda yeah. says he's going out to film some videos. Owens oh, yeah. said he's doing a video on the Orlando Hunter Tundra truck. Um, Everyday RC said he was. Doing yard work and getting a new RC arriving okay. tomorrow. What, what's uh, going, what's uh, going? Oh, what's he getting? I don't know. Fingers crossed. Raminator? Yeah. <laughs> Those are out of stock. All right. Kevin Gibbs says, oh, dude, that was supposed to be a five bucks. What the fuck? <laughs> all good. Big Mac, how you doing, brother? Welcome by, bro. Cool. Yeah, so Owen said, I'm doing a video on the Orlando Hunter Toyota truck. There's nothing, uh, better, there's nothing better than when a UPS truck pulls up and he walks out with a box the size of the RC car. Uh, yeah. Kent's RC. Luis LP, how you doing, Luis? <laughs> and it's toilet paper your wife sorted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, Rich, hey, shout uh, out to, sh sorry, shout out to Rich Stupabash. How are you doing over there on the other side of the bay? He says he's doing good, brother. Just yeah. bashed and chilling out with the sunburn. sunburn. Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been it's been really warm over the past few days. In the mornings, it's really cold, but in the afternoon, it's getting quite warm. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. RC, RC Voodoo sends the other three from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll come back for you. <laughs> then Kevin did it right after. Sorry, yeah. brother. Oh, so <laughs> yeah. Anything's appreciated. Yeah. So, Mick, no prep just means you can't put anything on the ground whenever you're at the line. You can, you can prep your car all you want until you get to the line. And when you get to the line, there can be nothing. Your wheels have to be dry. There can be nothing when you leave residue on the ground. So Don't tell Mick because then he's going to want to get into it. It's the guy in the no prep thing the other week was saying. You can, um, like... Oh. Soak your tires in overnight. You can soak. Yeah, you can do everything right up until you put it. As long as they're dry yeah. when you when you get to the course. Yeah, when you get yeah. to the line. Yeah. Like, so they have to be dry. Yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet man. Swampers is still waiting for his trailer a few more days. Oh, okay. Stay Swampers. That's why you should order it from Voodoo. You would have had it already. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, Lewis? <laughs> and cheaper. Yeah, not cheaper. I don't know if it had it. <laughs> RC propaganda. I will try to show more barbecue. What did barbecue ask? Agreed. Prop I candy locations. So, uh, yeah, propaganda has some awesome locations. There we go, crawling. I see Rick Brad there. He put the SSD sliders over the, on the Komodo. Yeah, we can't see it. Richie, you need to turn your background off. 
Yeah. He still hasn't figured that and, part out. And, <laughs> figured yeah, out when, you wanna, when you want to show something, you got to turn your back around. Oh, uh, okay, right. No worries. I see that next router. Yeah, we cannot see it. Put those away. Put those away right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> so Wait. Play them out of the gallery. All right, all right. I'm kidding. <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> Every day, RC said, no Raminator for me. Low C5T is oh, as big as man. I go. Yeah, man. I'll be, I'll be yeah. posting a video tomorrow. Can you guess? It's a body, bro. A baby, bro. A yeah, baby, bro. It's the largest MT on, the, on market. the market. Wow. That's awesome, man. What, what what, is what's, the lar what's the largest monster truck on the market? Oh, the Ramanator. That'll be the Ramanator. The Ramanite, yeah. Ramanite. So he must have got a low C5 turn to do a body. Yeah, the the what, what, what's that, Daniel? That's Cherry's or Honey Lulu's body. Oh, sweet. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. Nice. Get the motor. Oh. I got to chop it up and put an interior in. Oh, nice. So Honey Lulu is asking if you still got our body done. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. what he just showed. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe if, if he's not talking about Raminator, it would probably be Max. So I was going to say uh, HSX Max got to be in there. It's a big one. Yeah. Okay, baby of it, it's going to be a Max. Swampers RC said. Uh, so what have you got? One of them dancing riders, which is it? No, it's the this is the um the X Flamingo, right. which I've converted to brushless, but all the oh. um the all the metal upgrade parts which ordered from Banggood, like the uh, metal spare, metal drive shafts, metal right. pinion have arrived tonight. So uh, off the record, it's done about like 40 miles an hour, and it does not want to flip over, which is just crazy. Yeah, those things. That, that little yeah. thing in 40 yeah. mile an hour, that's insane. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm tempted to put the camera behind like the driver's head or something, like see what it goes on there. So, have a bit of fun. We've all got time on our hands. So, yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, shells, it, it's opened up a lot around here. I've been out today down in Shell Sands, uh, taking that. Um, Red Cat Landslide, which I've converted to 6S uh, down there. But it's quite busy with lots of people out there with bikes um, and things on there. All right, uh, so every, every day, every day RC said, sorry, baby bro of the biggest electric MP. Yeah, What's the we, biggest? We, no, What's it's the biggest it's it's max. It's max. No, I've always, max. I've always debated. Oh, the max, nice. If you've ever seen a couple of my tug of war videos, I've got Isabella driving Isabella driving her um, like a Hot Wheels buggy the opposite way to me on that, and I've always wondered about like fitting a massive servo to that and converting that to like RC. Uh, so Kent's RC is asking, should I get an RC car or an RC plane next? If you've never flown a plane, Kent, that would take a few simulators or something before you yes. jump into a plane. Yes. As fast you Tony, Tony will say the opposite. Tony will just jump straight into a plane. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Sean, some of these, I've got this. Um, oh, hang on. And Gabriel, too. He but bought you, one. You have planes the... as well, though, Tony. You've flown a lot of planes, though, haven't you? I've got that. I've got that, Sean. The, um, That's a good way to learn right there. The vapor plane, which you'll ju you can fly that around your lounge. Yeah. yeah. And I've got a, I've got a, they do an FPV camera which mounts on there, which is like absolutely minuscule, which I've got as well. And that uh, just crazy. And you just the, you can have a thing ho virtually hovering. Uh, the air conditioning can be blowing that way, and the thing can be actually hovering against the breeze or against it. Crazy. Yeah, I just know where to fly. That's my issue. Yeah. That yeah, one you can fly it's, anywhere. It's flexible. That's a good starter right there. Yeah, yeah. This thing, if you've got a bit, if you've got a big room, you can literally fly this. Thing. This is why I bought this. I saw it, and they were like flying it around the inside of somebody's house. And I thought, Ooh. my freaking cat, my cats would attack it. Yeah. <laughs> I started straight away with one of the Apprentice, put it in the like the safe mode or whatever, like easy flying, and just went for it. Yeah. And, uh, the landing was tough, but everything else was pretty easy. 
Like, it makes sense. If you've played, uh, like, video games or anything that have inverted I, controls. Yeah. I, played, I played Top Gun for Nintendo. <laughs> I've watched Top Gun a few t- like many of us Steve I've watched Top Gun a few times well, I, I have a real play game I did play that at the hobby shop a, a while before I actually bought one Yeah, yeah. Kinda, I did use a simulator but in a store they just had it there yeah, that, yeah. That, that, that was uh, what I was about to say um, also the hobby towns if I'm not mistaken they had the simulator on it so, yeah yeah Make sure to practice that before you spend any money on it, bro. Yeah, otherwise get a lot of CA glue, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sounds silly. Does anybody do one that's like a like a almost like a PlayStation one, a virtual reality thing where you can do it in that? You need yeah. that because the game is so hard because you can't track it like you do in real life. Like you can literally move and follow your head. Mm-hmm. When the game trying to line it up for a landing. Like, you can't look and then spot your landing. You've got to, like, stay on the pl- – it's really hard. The, okay. I think the game is makes it really tricky to learn in some ways. In other ways, it's it's wonderful. But. Yeah. Uh, AZ Froggy says, have you talked about the new deal Traxxas just dropped about two hours ago? I don't, I don't know. I what, don't what know what they like dropped. Let yeah. me let me let me look for it. Real I'll, quick. I'll tell you one thing, guys. Somebody is going to start dropping like bombs on the RC car market within the next couple of weeks because now the country is getting back a little bit to normality. I'll give it three, four weeks before either Traxxas or Armour or both drop like one major. Or two I, I'll, I'll major give it. A, I'll give it about two weeks to mo- Facebook yeah. Marketplace is completely flooded with RCs. Yeah, people, that people bought and darn yeah. yeah, yeah. So it'll be flooded with them. I'm waiting to get my X Max. Like I almost bought one. Like, but I'm waiting. That 900 bucks is a lot to drop. Mm. Yeah. Especially yeah. when I got like other big cars. So, but, but Tony, as I said, I had the inside word that Traxxas were going to drop three major releases in the early part of this year, and obviously that has just been wiped out. And I guess De La Karma have just like held back from doing anything until. Yeah. No matter yeah, right. think, I'm thinking in the next three or four weeks, who's going to be the first one to pull the trigger? Red I don't know. Red. They might be waiting for the other to drop, and then uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And try what and I'm, think, them, right? what I'm thinking it is like Traxxas have predominantly relied on people going and looking at early release models. I they would say Red like Cat's popular. probably going to drop something because Red Cat's been dropping the price of their yeah. vehicles. Yeah. yeah. So when they when they start dropping the price of their vehicles, they normally start dropping yeah. you know, something out there too. Didn't, didn't, yeah. didn't Red Cat just drop a new monster truck? Yeah. What? Uh, it's, it's, no, the wind yeah. No, 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 no. I mean that that one, the 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 big one fifth Red Cat um released about what eighteen months, two years ago, and then they withdrew them all down in there, and um, I mean. Uh, Jason down at JJ Customs, he's one of the largest red cat dealers in the US, certainly mm-hmm. one of the largest on the on the West Coast on there. And um, th- they said to him, like, uh, just pull it off the market. If you if you sold one to a customer, buy it back off them. We don't care how much money you're offered them, we'll we'll pay it, we'll buy yeah. it back off them. And there the was never any, any never any information given out as to what the problem was with that car. Um, talking something just recently. So what's the deal? We haven't we haven't discovered what the deal is from Traxxas. I'm I'm looking at I'm reading here on. The, I'm I'm the, I'm looking, I can't see yeah. anything. I, Who is the that said it? Can they link us? Yeah, AC Froggies. Uh, yeah. Slash two wheel drive kit with that I know of. I'm Everybody, looking. anybody, check their email. See if anything like that's come because normally that's the first place they drop the bomb. They so need yeah. a street eliminator just. Give us all the pieces. Do it. I don't see nothing. Yes, yes, honey, Lulu. Uh, thank you. We have two bodies now uh, for for the giveaways. Uh, Three hundred seven Scoot is going to send uh, your. It's, uh, we have one on the mail, and we found a sports body that Barbecue already painted for us for the giveaway on Monday. So we are going to be able to do the giveaway on Monday, Memorial Day. And 
Javier, you've got uh, one, if not two servos and a battery on the way over the weekend from me as well. Thanks oh. to um, Roadside RC. Oh, thanks, Rich. I appreciate it. Yeah, OK. I, I know we've been playing a bit like telephone tag on it, big disconnects on the emails. But um, yeah, we'll get a yeah. Cruiser says a blue TRX4, blue and orange Mustang Fortress. Yeah, there's nothing that's jumping out, Steve. No, nothing like major, yeah, like, woo, blowing your yeah. mind kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, big surprise, Traxxas's new release is just another body. <laughs> a different yeah. color. Different yeah. color. You're saying a slash two-wheel drive kit with electronics at 200. Well, I think that's what they usually are at. Where, where did he saw that? No, I'm, I'm reading uh, 18. Oh, okay. Points. I have to say that, saying that, they, the Traxxas, the Mustang GT, the uh, the new body they've released is in that Ford, if anybody knows that Ford Grabber Blue, the one that really pops out on your eye. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say, I was debating getting a Shelby Mustang this summer, but I'm like sitting on the fence at the minute. Um, a uh, Kent's RC brother. As of now, uh, we are getting referrals from the VA hospital. Uh, the veterans that we're doing giveaway right now, they are from uh, the PTSD uh, program. So those are the those are the giveaways that we're doing right now. Uh, we do giveaways for veterans with uh, with severe PTSD. Eventually, we're gonna get all all, all veterans, you know. But right now, we are shooting for PTSD just to bring uh, awareness on better and suicide. Yeah. Just hit me, hit me, hit me an, an email, man. If you have any questions, brother. Hey, Earl. What's up, Earl? Earl Mohead's in the house. What's hey, up? Hey, Earl. How you doing, man? Hey, Earl. Hey, John. I think I got it, man. John Martin. Finally. Hey. Oh, you got the lights to work? Let me see. Yeah, well, I finally got to tell so, I don't know. I was was finally, link I, I, link. I followed. I did the same direction a hundred times, and finally, it just worked. Oh, it does. It, <coughs> it's it's a it's aggravating. Trax Traxxas has one set of directions. Ultimate RC had a different set on his. Everybody's got a different way to do it, and then there's other people that are just like, well, we couldn't figure it out, so we just did this and it's working kind of for us with one main but yeah one of my top videos tony bizarrely has been like how to reverse a traxxas um uh throttle on yeah that. You think a reversing steering simple i recorded it and i thought nobody will be interested the amount of people that are thumbs up and got said thank god you posted this video i i was losing the will to live because it, you're using it one day and you turn it on the next day and just suddenly the throttle's reversed you can yeah. do nothing on a remote There's control. Menu system on this is junk. Yeah. Why can't they write a list on here or something so you don't yeah. have to bring a stupid yeah. manual with you just to operate the controller? Oh, but you won't even find you won't even find that how to reverse the throttle in there, and it's just uh, crazy. But yeah, it needs directions. Just, you can't even set like trims and stuff hardly. Yeah. yeah. But I recorded well, it, and I thought like no one's going to be. It, it all depends if you if you if. Yeah. If you got a three-channel uh, receive Traxxas receiver in the the link, you can do all that stuff right in the app. Yeah. If you've got the Bluetooth module, if you have the Bluetooth in the tra in the transmitter. Yeah. Without the Bluetooth module at forty dollars, which For not everyone's going to get. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just I'm just saying it's stupid yeah. how you need, yeah. you know, the four-channel yeah. receiver. The, the TQ the TQI and the Bluetooth yeah to even get into half of that stuff to switch it around with at a touch of a button yeah I mean it's yeah. a decent, I, I, decent I saying, system it, as far as performance but like the I video I put up the video I put up you 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 don't need the app or anything you can just change the throttle over on its side yeah you, you do it all overly easy but, yeah you yeah. do it, you do it all with hitting the the yeah. power button on the ESC yeah. Uh, no, it's a little more complicated than that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's basic, basically. Well, you got to hit the set buttons yeah. and all that, the yeah. red buttons yeah. up top of certain yeah. amount of time. I, 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 like I say, I recorded it and I thought nobody would be interested. And like the amount of thumbs up and people saying, thank God, I was losing the will to live, you know, just crazy. Yeah. Uh, 
But yeah, I, I was really so one of the pleased. I, I was pleased when somebody said, "Oh, thank you so much for posting this. It makes it all worthwhile." So when I record it, I thought, "Like, who's who the heck's going to watch this? Nobody's going to be bothered." And yeah, obviously a lot of people are. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I just I just want to say something real quick. I know we have some veterans on the on the on the chat, and you know, uh, guys that have family members. I want to say thank you for the service. You know, Memorial uh, Day weekend is special. It's a weekend to remember the fallen uh, uh, military guys, soldiers, mm, yeah. and, and their families and the ones that serve, they are serving and serve. Uh, mm. For me, it's a bit, uh, it, I celebrate, dif uh, celebrate it different, you know. For me, it's yeah. a weekend to mourn. So I don't, I don't go out and celebrate yeah. like other people. So just remember the ones that they didn't have the chance to come back. Yeah. Well, thank you for your service, guys. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you for your service. No, I, I appreciate what you're saying there. I'm not obviously from US native on here, but um, it was one of the most moving things when I was in Chatham in New Jersey. And one of the things I, I would say I missed the nail is the Memorial Day Parade going out on there. And obviously nobody's going to be going out and doing that well. Yeah. We've had limited this year on there, but it's quite moving. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Kevin Gibbs says, I love my cheap radio link six works killer on crawlers. Wait, yes, yes, definitely. I got the four. I need to get that six. I love yeah, it. I, I kept the six. I gave uh, that kid Benjamin the four. The four. Oh, he's <laughs> loving it, man. He's loving it. Yeah. Yeah. Radio link and uh, fly sky both. They're, uh, they're really great, great systems. Yeah, I got the FS, uh, the GT5 Fly Sky six channel, and that thing's it's small. It's not all bulky, you know. And it feels good in the hand. You run it off of a lipo battery. Yeah, that's one of the one of the things I want to change in the bomber pretty quick because I need to get a receiver. Oh, didn't that come with that new DX3? Yeah. It's it's actually a really nice controller, and it's got the one-handed steer knob on it. Spotlight. But uh, I'm just not a Spectrum fan. Yeah, and I like Spectrum. It, what are you uh, going to change it to? Uh, my Futaba. Yeah, Futaba. you can put it on that. You just put it on that one that you use for all the other bits, you know? Yeah. Yeah, the only thing that I didn't like about this one was it doesn't have, uh, you can't run like the life battery or anything. It's only four double A's. I'm sure there'll be a hack for it soon though. Yeah, I hope so. It's, it does it not have any plug at the bottom when you take the double A's out, no? You know, actually, you might be able to pull this tray out, but it looks like it's in there pretty good. Yeah, I think you, most of them, you can pop the tray out and put a JST plug on the end of the two wires. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if, they, if, it, if it does, that will, that will make me a lot happier with this radio. Because I actually, it's, it's got a really nice feel to it. Um, you know, the one-handed steer is, it's, it's actually perfect position. Yeah. Do you have, did you have the rugged? No. Oh, I was going to say, some people think that the rugged, the one-handed driving, is it's like too far away for them. You yeah. know, so that's like hard to reach. I was just wondering if that one was uh, closer. It, Kevin, it, Kevin, Kevin Gibbs said, I'm trying to win a Fataba as we speak. Those are nice radios. My buddy just uh, waiting on his um, P pxv uh, 7 px or something yeah i just got rid of my fataba and i shouldn't have got rid of it now i, now I think back and i was like shit i should have kept that thing actually which one did you have the the r so it has like six channel thing like has it had the three position switch down at the bottom i, I can't mind the model number it was like 300 bucks oh okay I've had this one for like a year and a half now. It's the 4PD, which they have a newer version of it, which is the 4PM. Yeah. I really like this controller. It's it's actually like kind of heavy, 
and mm. but it has such a nice feel to it and the the range on it is insane but how far away how far away is that wheel rich if you want to do the thumb i can't do a one-handed thumb on this one at all without putting on my little adapter on the wheel yeah yeah because it, yeah, it definitely was not made for one hand. That, and that's like what I hear about tracks is even like tracks is make theirs so far away. You, you think, you think in nowadays everybody knows a lot of people are driving one handed. Like start bringing the wheel a little closer. Like you know. Yeah, you're not one handed driving tracks without like a, a zip tie on it with a screw. Yeah, I just barely make my son just barely makes the wheel on the track. Think, do you think well, that almost somebody's going to come out with like almost instead of like almost steering dual right setting, like a, a wheel dual right setting, which is yeah, you know, yeah. not being different from a steering dual right setting where you can just touch it and almost as though you're moving your mm -hmm. like your your mouse or something to move it. Right? Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I actually. I mean, like, if, if enough people talk about it online, Steve, or somebody's going to say, "Okay, we'll we'll add that in as a feature," you know, if we'll build it in, if people use it, they use it. They don't, they don't. Yeah, true. Yeah. Swamper says he has a uh, three PRKA. Yeah. I don't know if he's joking with me or <laughs> if that's real radio. That uh, I believe that's a Futaba three P. Okay. I've never heard the PRKA though. Is that like the hundred dollar one that the Futabo's got? The three channel? Oh, it's somebody Google it and go up the screen. Let's see y'all look at that. Yeah, I can't remember the I can't remember the make of my one. Yeah, Mick. I remember Mick did get the rugged because of the one-handed driving, and he hated this. Yeah, uh, he said he hated my rugged for one-handed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's got this uh, bigger style. This one right here. Uh, sure. I got that. I got that one. Uh, that was like sixty dollars. I got it on Amazon. Oh yeah. It, it it looks is you know it doesn't feel right, but the uh, it's like like toyish, but the range is sick, man. It, it yeah. works awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Futaba three, Futaba three P R K eight three channel two point four gigahertz radio. Yeah. Just drilling down into space. Yeah. yeah, I paid like sixty dollars on that one right there that, that you showed there. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to see. Let me uh. Look up the. Don't, don't give a huge amount of info on them. Oh, hang on, I'm as insight. Jill right steering, throttle right fail safe, full of battery warning. <coughs> How much was that radio, Rich? Uh, the screen, uh, on, on Amazon, it is eighty nine ninety five on Amazon. Decisions. And. This is the one that I was oh, steering trim, servo reversing, steering dual right, throttle endpoint adjustment, throttle fail safe, 70 50 throttle mode, three channel switching. This is the one I thought Bill was talking about that three channel because I know a couple of people that have these that say they're pretty yeah. good. They're only 119 bucks, 120 bucks. Yeah. Doesn't say anything about the range it gives though, on that, not on Amazon yeah. anyway. I need, I need five channels. Five channel? Yeah. Which, you know, I still use that Radio Link 6 channel, and I love that thing. Yeah, I was going to say, you got the Radio Link. Yeah. After saying a lot of my stuff, I use those Dumbo 6, the Dumbo 6 channel thing for like $30, including 6 channel receiver with Jarrah. Crazy. Eric, Eric's hobby. How you doing, brother? Welcome. Hey, welcome. Right. I'm looking for uh, that seven. Let's see. Where yeah, Box World said, yeah, I got one of those three channel Fatabas, and it's nice. Oh, Buck got one of them? I didn't know that he had one of them. <laughs> <laughs> 
Here you go, uh, Voodoo. Here's the here's one for you. This is this is a badass video right here. Yeah. Seven channel to seven PX. That's what I was talking about. My buddy just ordered. How much is that? Oh, it's expensive. Uh, six hundred bucks. Huh? They're six hundred bucks right now. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Stick with That's the radio link, right? Yeah. That radio link sounding better and better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and the range the range of that radio link, uh, we tested it, Daniel. It, it it was awesome. Yeah, I was very you'll never, very. You'll never drive further than the radio link will go. I mean, you, ah. should, you could barely see, and we was driving a scale. Yeah, I, mean, I was going to say, I, I, which direction it was going and so yeah. I, I, I tested the radio link, one of the radio link ones on my Traxxas Rally, and it, it had like claimed five to six hundred meter range. I couldn't, it, as you say, I, I was looking at the car, it was like a dot in the distance. I couldn't even tell if, yeah. the, if the car spun round. Yeah, I, I couldn't even tell it was if it was facing the opposite direction. Yeah, so, yeah. crazy. Yeah. When yeah, Nick yeah, did that that yeah. test, you know, um, RC intro, he did that with that that Hummer, and he had yeah. somebody walking along yeah. next to it to let him yeah. know when it stopped uh, on a range, and you could yeah. barely see the guy standing. But, I mean, you, you think oh. like five hundred meters? That's like fifteen hundred feet away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it's just like what well, it's coming up an half a mile. I was gonna say it's pretty close to it. Yeah. 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 For football, yeah. but I mean, I, I was on a big flat area. And <coughs> I could have run it flat out towards me, but I literally, I, I could, I was squinting to see the thing. You gotta yeah. take the 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 back room, Daniel. You hold it in front of yourself. Oh, right yeah, there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's the this, four channel. This is that's a six. six. Yeah. We got a GoPro session. No, that's a um, a Fox Ear Box Two. Uh, what? It replaced the session when they quit selling them. Hey, uh, Mr. Mo Mr. Matt, twenty four twenty four. Welcome, brother. <laughs> How much are those ones? Are they expensive? Like okay, the camera. Yeah. Um, I got it free, but I think they're one thirty nine. Oh, okay. So about the same as the session. Yeah. Right? So Buck said, Steve or Buck said, yeah, the toy looking one. It's on my RC four wheel drive. Yeah, yeah. It's coupon. Lots of people love the Dumbo, especially for road cars. What the hell is the Dumbo? It's uh, it's, it's oh. those, those actually aren't bad to be a cheap ass radio. It's like a thirty dollar radio from Banggood. Yeah, it's, they're not that bad. Six channels on it. Like six channels and it's got pretty good range. That's that's the one that Richie always likes. Uh, Brandon said, "Doesn't Futaba own Fly Sky?" There was, uh, yeah, I think they do. I yeah, there was rumblings about that about five or six months ago, and it seems like they've kept it really, really quiet. But I do think that Futaba bought Fly Sky. Yeah. This so Eric, Eric's, Eric's hobby said, I highly recommend the Dumbo X6. I have a server which hooked up to it and it works good. I also can run my snow pie with the two knobs on the top, I believe, channel five and channel six. It's awesome for 30 bucks. Yeah, that, that's what I was saying about Sean. It's it like, and you can buy additional receivers for it. They're like $9.99 delivered from Banggood. I never even heard it of it. It's got a built-in a built-in gyro, 500 meter range. What's it look like though? Now I'll go and grab one for the garage if you wait two minutes. From the garage. Oh yes. Chop chop old boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna get a cup of tea while I'm there. A little tea and a scone. <laughs> scone? <laughs> what the hell's a scone? It's uh, a scone sort of like a cookie? No, it's like a biscuit you would get at fucking Popeyes or something like. So uh -huh. in England they call them scones, you know. <laughs> Popeyes, thanks, Sean. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, sandwich, chicken sandwich from Popeye. Spicy chicken sandwich. I haven't had one in a while. I almost got it today, but I got the baby back ribs from okay. freaking okay. Outback. Ten forty-four. We're already talking about food. Wow. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I saved mine. I saved a half a slab of ribs for <laughs> after this freaking thing. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know how it is. Because the minute you start talking about food, I'm coming oh, yeah. with bacon shots. We comes got bacon. <laughs> that bacon. bacon comes out. Jake's got his uh, what what body did you? Wasn't that your SCX three? No, this is a proline body. Oh, that's Doing a proline right. body. Okay. Yeah. My son <laughs> saw mine. Now he wants a Jeep. Oh. Uh... <laughs> That's yeah, cool. seen it yesterday. Uh, it's orange, right? Yeah, it's not. I like that. Yeah, yeah I watched the replay. What I missed. I'm waiting for a servo whenever it decides to show up. But awesome job, awesome job there, Jake. And that is like seal. So got that Jeep. Looking nice, man. Yeah, it came out real good. Yeah, it was in the heart, right? The the flex seal. Oh no. I, I, First time doing it, it was yeah. easier than painting. Easier, man. Yeah. Uh, RC Workbench, I hope you're joking. He just said, Vegemite and Marmite. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, right. Richie, do you like fucking Marmite? I don't even know what Do you that like is. Marmite? Um, yeah, I don't mind it. Yeah. Yeah. What? Are you, are you <laughs> food? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a. Good I, I like I like I like black pudding as well, and that's yeah, the black pudding. I love black everybody. pudding. Yeah, I love black pudding. Like Sean, I bought some black pudding last week on Amazon. <laughs> it's, arrived two, it's arrived two days ago, and my wife's going like, "What the hell have you bought this for?" And it's, it's black pudding. You got me bacon. Yeah, where, where I live, where I live, I can get it. Like, cause I live in an Irish neighborhood, so I get all the bacon, the sausages. Oh, yeah, I get everything. I'd put, put it on Amazon, but it came in. It came in like um, like uh, like a. 40 inch square refrigerated box with dry ice and everything in there for about 14 bucks for two inch. So like crazy. Yeah, See, so I, I can get player. I can get them all in the I can get them all here. The Irish sausage, the black oh, and get, one, get some dry ice and post me some because it's it's all right. It's not so it is, so yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, the, the Dumbo RC radios, um, the original one was this one. Mm-hmm. If you want to put that on okay. there. The original one, one in there was with, with the two dials on the top for, cha- for changing channels five and six. And that you had like a little. Um, it looks like freaking. You've, you've, like sli- pre- you've got a slider on here for one channel underneath there, obviously one, two. For it the, looks like Predator. Fun? It looks like Predator. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got yeah. um, throttle jill rate, steering jill rate, steering reversible. And what channel? Trim, what's that? The four on channel one, Richie? Sorry? Is that the four channel or the six? Channel one. Six? Channel one. Four air batteries at the bottom. The latest one is, uh, is this one, which is a slight variant on it, but instead of the dials, you've got two t- touch button ones on it. Um, and if you've got a like a crawler, um, you can use it to flick the, the two speed servo on the top by pressing the two buttons on there. Same thing underneath, steering jill rate, etc on there but this one is like about 10 bucks more but you can get it comes with the full lighting kit but the advantage being you can, the full lighting kit you, you just plug it into one socket for all like four or six lights on your um on your car rather than plugging in like two three four ports on the servo uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. rather than plugging it into two three or four ports on your receiver you just plug one wire in and the, then the full six channel thing is controlled by the front spinner as well. Sweet. Yeah. Now, is, that a three, is that a three position switch right behind the wheel? Yeah, again, three position switch on there. Nice. Yeah. I never heard Pal. And, and 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 uh, you've got the, there's another, the, another one here on off switch on there for another channel, which is on the push button thing. Same on that transmitter on there. Yeah, and you can't you can't press that by accident. You don't you you can press it with your thumb, but it's you're not going to change your yeah, race yeah. or anything dramatically by it by accident. Yeah, I never heard Talon before tonight, so yeah. that's the exact same thing as the Surpass because that this one I have yeah. is identical to his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's oh, yeah I'm, I'm sure I, it's like I, I I did the like that video the other week of like the. 
Um, the top oh, five in front of your body, Buru. Yeah, I did yeah, it. Yeah, I did yeah. it like the, the top five um, fastest top C cars under $100. And I said, at the outset, please bear in mind, everybody, that somebody will say that somebody else makes this car and sells it under <clears> their <throat> name, but these are the ones I bought it under. And the amount of people that have completely ignored it and put, oh, that is car is a copy of this XYZ. Oh, and evidently, the WL Toys. One four four zero zero one. They don't make. R RC Odyssey, welcome, brother. Yeah. Hey, welcome. Hey, anyway, guys, I'm gonna have to shoot because my, I'm being called upstairs for uh, childcare duties. So, um, everybody have a great memorial weekend. Oh, you um, too, Rich. Yeah, you too, Rich. Too rich. Sorry, it, care, that's, Richie. Why, that's why I disappeared a second ago because Izzy came down to uh, grab me. Have to a good weekend, me. Rich. Okay, Take care, Richie. Stay safe, boys. Later. So, uh, Steve, do you guys saw the, probably you guys seen it, the new uh, top bodies from Proline? They're already painted. Oh, oh the yeah, they're one. already painted oh, So I, I had to run out of the room. So what was the tracks as did? Nothing. We, we, we didn't find nothing. Yeah, I didn't see anything on there. Uh, uh, different the color bodies. Continues. Yeah, new colors. That's it. Uh, I'm probably. Gonna... I'm gonna share real quick. Yeah, because I didn't even get yep. an email from them or anything. So these these are the the, the top bodies that are coming up. From yeah, that, that oh, van, van though, there's there's something really weird about that the front end of that van, like the van. where the bonnet and the windscreen meet. There's something really weird looking about it. So they they for that price, you know, fifty one dollars. It comes already painted. I don't yeah. Know. See, look, go to that. Yeah. Can you click on that side view? See the side view there. Uh, no, this, yeah, the first one. Like, gotcha. look, see, there's something really weird about the front end of it. it, it it's just the wheel it. well cut, is what it is. Because if you look, there's actually vans. There's a Dodge van like that from the '70s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. That, that's that van that had the, the 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 clutch right here on the side of the steering wheel. The the, yeah. the gear. Yeah. That's the the van that had the free candy, and they tried to get me in there. <laughs> <laughs> but the wheel wells cut weird for these tires, so they know people are putting them on crawlers. Yeah, that's weird to me. Yeah, that's why they're right here you see on the side too. Yeah, I, I know what's yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Just maybe the color, but this one, if you guys see here, uh, it says here uh, it's already it's molded a uh, top color. 0.60 black polycarbonate. But can so, you paint over that black, or is it one of them that you can't paint over? And that's a good question. That's one I, I wanted to see because I wanted that power wagon in black, and I want to add some yellow to it. You know, like the military co army yeah. colors. Uh, it says here, with it means no, no, it needs no paint. No worries about painting, peeling, or or chipping off. Yeah, so you'd have to you'd have to paint it on the outside then. Yeah, yeah. So the van, uh, they make the van in that too. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. The van yeah. That. So they're gonna sticker for windows then. Yes. Yeah, they're all they're all black. I'm sorry, yeah. I went too much too far. They make a paintable version too. Yeah, yeah. yeah they have yeah, the clear. Man. They have the clear version. Yeah. So, so that power wagons uh comes in that black too. Yes, that's 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 the one I was looking into it. Yeah, uh, so that black would be nice with you just spray some gold leaf. Oh, yes. the top of it or something. Yeah, so they have the stampede. Uh, one is for stamp for stampede. Mm -hmm. That uh, Nova Chevrolet uh, has the what is it? This one for the uh, slash two wheel drive on four by four fusion. Yeah. Oh, the UDR too, and the older slashes. So uh, we'll see how tough are they. They're supposed to not, the paint is supposed to not come off. You know. Yeah, a couple of roof slides, and we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I was, was going to say, give me that Nova body. I can flip it upside. Right, right. I, I like the Nova, that's for sure. <laughs> it looks good. It looks good. I wonder, like like they say, if they can paint over it, you know, add more color to it, you know? I I just want the Nova black. It don't matter to me. Right. Like black. Yeah, I like it. I like it, too. Yeah, it was a Nova Arc workbench on the bottom left. Almost out of heads. Yeah, so the only thing I can find on tracks is, is for hobby sewing. 
like forty one percent off the EV Evo EXL. Oh, probably that. Forty three percent off the Rustler two point four. The XL Rustler, Bruce's truck, free shipping, free shipping. 30% off the track, slices ready to run with free shipping. Okay. We'll That's see. I don't know. I can find any deals. Any oh, deals. I look, in, I look in A-Main. I look in other uh, parts yeah. and nothing. nothing. Uh, even a Traxxit website. Yeah, Net Cruiser John. Yeah, I like that power wagon, man. I want that one. Yeah. I like that one. RC Odyssey says, is there any chance we could collectively rename all WL toy models? I vote the 144 blah, blah, blah can be called 206 evo evolution. Those numbers, the donations are rough to say. And if you can even remember them. Yeah, they do. Right. 144001. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Let's say it almost sounds like a football yeah. play, half of these. Alphabet, yeah. yeah. It was it, popular. It does say the evolution right on it, so I don't know why they don't just call it. But everybody says the 144001. The heat wave body, Bucks likes. The heat wave, yeah. Yeah, the one uh, that they had on uh, the short course. Later, Alan. Who's taking on? Duke. Take care, Duke. Oh, Duke. Duke. Hey, buddy. Has, has anybody been talking to STP? Yeah, uh, uh, I, I spoke to him like a day or two ago. Yeah, he's been having some back problems. Yeah, uh, I sent him an invite last yeah. week and this week. but Yeah, he's been having some back problems. So, uh... Yeah, you got to take care of yourself. Definitely, man. He been hustling on that crawler oh, tour. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm telling, bro. You gotta take it slow, man. Too much work on that. Yeah. Gets so excited he just don't realize that oh, his he... body's gonna hurt the next day after you're yeah. lifting all them rocks and yep. shoveling all that dirt and shit. The next day you're like, Oh, what the hell uh, right in my body? Yeah. I can't get yeah, out of that. <laughs> get me the get me the freaking Ben Gay or the hot <laughs> now. <Hell up. laughs> Hell, next day I'm thinking about it after you sit down for an hour to get something to eat. And you don't want to get up, get off the damn couch to go get yeah, something. The first time, the first, the first time, somebody, to go to bed. <laughs> the first time somebody in America said to me, "Bang gay," I thought they were taking the piss out of me. They were like, "Can you go to the phone? Like, can you go to the pharmacy and get me some bang gay?" And I was like, "What the fuck? bang gay? What are you talking about?" Like, no, because back home we call it DP, like you know. Yeah, so it's like deep heat, like, you know. I like that so much better than being gay. <laughs> yeah, no. uh, Tony. Being gay or pee pee rubbed on you. Yeah. Tony, I was going to ask you, bro, the, the black hats that you have, are the same brand as those uh, camouflage ones? Yeah. Oh, the same? Okay, sweet. I want to order a black one, so I wasn't sure because that's a perfect fit. A fit. They got a good fit, don't they? Yeah, I like them. Yeah. So I want to order the black one. I like the black one. No more camel ones available or what? Uh, three more. What, three more? Going? Yeah. Can I, can I, where do I got to buy it from you from? Uh, just PayPal. Oh, just send I'll, it to I'll message PayPal. you, yeah. All right. The black ones, I didn't order it in bulk. Because everybody was asking for camo. Okay. I have one more black one though. Oh, say say that for me. I'm gonna I'll send at the same price. Yep. Okay. I, everyday RC says my body is shot. LOL. Too okay. much hard labor in my day. Getting old. That's my no. That's my no raminator for me. I know. So Dude, carrying the raminators. Ugh. RC keeps me young, he says. <laughs> yeah. Turning that around sucks. <laughs> Someone said hi, Scott Zilla. Yeah, Net Cruiser saying hi, Scott Zilla. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> RC, RC and Drew said, who is the band you speak of? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 
All right, guys. I'm going to take off. I'm gonna All right, man. Here. Have a good time running that new bomber tomorrow. I know, bro. Yeah. 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 I, I want to ask you, Rich. You did all the upgrades already? Uh, a bunch. Okay. It's got, uh, I put the aluminum in the rear. Uh-huh. I, I made some um, some stainless steel lower link for the front. Okay. Because I was waiting for them to show up and they haven't gotten here. Yeah. Um, I swapped the, I put the tires on the new wheels. Okay. Uh, put the new servo in it and the yeah. new steering in it. So, so just, just so you know, he got some bang bang and put the aluminum in the rear. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, keep it in the rear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's awesome, bro. It look, it's looking good, man. I, I like that. I like it without the tire on the... On the... Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it, it takes off so much weight. Yeah, it does. It, it does. Those tires, the, motor? the wheels that comes with are heavy. Hold on, let's see that motor here. Oh, that motor looks nice. That's nice, man. You painted that right there? Yeah. That's look nice. Awesome, bro. All right, guys. Have a good weekend. Thank right, you, yeah, Rich. Hey, Rich. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. Uh, we'll see you Monday night. Take care, brother. Rich. We'll see you. Yeah. Man. So, Rudy, are you going to do, when you paint the body, are you going to do the hood scoop clear? Yeah. I don't know. Huh? I don't know. I've been, don't do what I do. I've been debating cutting it, and... But I just leave it clear when you paint it, like the old hot rod, just to be clear. Hood. Yeah, but I, what's I don't the, know if I've ever seen a Rubicon with a clear hood. But what's the point in having all that detailed work underneath exactly. a body that you can't see? That that's why that's why I, I didn't paint mine because of that. I'm not going to show this. That's the only. But I wanted to do it like that, like that. Yeah. So if you leave the hood scoop clear, the yeah. hood scoops right over all that engine, so you can see the hood scoop. There's not well, a way you can print some hinges. Yeah, so thinking about cutting, thinking about just making the cuts, and yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Can't you get hinges and cut the hood so you can yeah. open the hood? I just wonder how much that's going to affect the integrity of the front end. Yeah, is it thick uh, enough flex on? Like, if you cut it, you probably have to put a brace across the flex yeah, on, though. Support. Yeah, that's why I would just spread and leave a clear hood, leave the scoop clear. Jake was gonna Jake was gonna do it and then he forgot about it and he's painting it. I was watching Tony <laughs> and painted out over the top of it. I had it all cut out and everything. I made my own mask for it and everything. And was watching Tony and I just went shh and like third swipe through. I was like, well, I guess that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's crazy. Like they do all that detail underneath the freaking body and then you spray over it so nobody can see the freaking the engine and the detail anyway yeah. I'm gonna go out to the garage so I'm gonna be off for a couple seconds here no problem go ahead, brother Yeah, RC workbench. Younger dudes at work, all they're looking for is their phone nowadays. <laughs> it's crazy. I see it in construction all the time. Like, you'd walk around a corner and a guy, every five minutes, you walk around a corner and a guy's in the phone, like, checking his Facebook or checking some shit. Bro, bro. I, I know, man. I know. It's freaking crazy. Yeah. And freaking walking in dangerous area without freaking looking yeah. up, just looking at the phone, man. It's freaking crazy, like. I have to mask my Komodo body tomorrow. Good luck, Riff Profs. That's the, that's the hardest part of it, the masking. I still, I, I still haven't even touched that Range Rover body. I sanded the roof and the bonnet, and that's all I've sanded so far. I gotta get it sanded down and go. Krasman, I run, um, I run high rise construction projects in Manhattan, and it's like 
the, the kids nowadays that come in, they, it's crazy. Like half of them get into the unions because their dad was in the union and their grandfather was in the union and they have no, complete no idea of what trade they're even doing. Ridiculous. Cryptomaniacs, thank you to Steve O. He's not on screen at the minute, so I'll say thank you for him. So, yeah, Tony's just not there at the moment, Everyday RC, but he does have the 8S Kratom. Yes, yeah, he does. When he's back, we'll ask him how he likes it. I'm kind of dreading it, Sean. LOL. One, I'll, I'll give you one piece of advice, Riff Raff. When you're, when you're putting on your tape for your masking, just put it on wider than what you're actually masking. Because the, the edges are never really sticky. The middle is the sticky part. And then just make sure you have a good, sharp, exacto knife and cut off all the excess. Like, just don't use the straight edge of the actual tape because the edges are never really sticky. So just make the edges stick up a little bit past what you're looking to mask. They, they were asking about the eight-ish Creighton, Tony. Yeah. yeah they, were asked, they were asking everyday RC, where's that question? He said, Tony, is that the eight-ish Creighton? And if so, do you like it? Um, I like it. It's, you know, it's not a basher like uh, X-Max. That's for sure. Um, it's more of a performance vehicle. I'd run it more like I would a 5T or a DBXL or XLE, something that has the metal chassis. Okay. But um, I haven't bent mine yet. It, so and, I've launched mine, but I haven't gone stupid with it. And, and notice they have different versions of it. Right, Tony? The new one's supposed to be tougher, the 1.2. Okay. Yeah. I put in one of the braces kind of on mine, but I also have a carbon fiber tube across the top of mine. Yeah. Because that, that metal bar does bend. Okay. Um, but my chassis isn't bent, so. Yeah. I've launched mine, I mean, off my send it ramp. <laughs> Full yeah. speed, so. Uh, Do you think it's going to clear the fence? <laughs> I don't think it will. <laughs> nah, it'll tear down the fence if it hits it. Uh, how, long, how long before the Raminator tries the fence? <laughs> <laughs> I need to try a backflip with it first. That'll be sweet. That would be sweet, man. I need to get some plywood make the backflip ramp yeah. uh. and braces and all that some two by fours i should have that kind of stuff laying around though we got a pretty good wood pile yeah. old wood i can use sucks they came out with that creighton with the 1.2 or whatever with the extra braces yes i i haven't even all i did was take mine out the box it's like, damn, I could have waited and got the better one. Just yeah, send me yeah. that one. Send me that one and get the, the newer one. Yeah. You haven't even put a battery. Yeah. Thing. All you need to do is buy the braces. It's like 20 some bucks if you that's had it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I figured I'd end up doing. Yep. Yep. It's yeah. not a bad, it's not expensive to really outfit it. Yeah. You haven't even put a battery in yours yet, Steve, or have you? No. That's a shame, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I just run mine stock, but I put a bigger pinion on it so it'll jump better, but it's still yeah, fine. I, I got the pinion for it right here. Uh, Robinson Racing, I think it's a 24 tooth. Sweet. You know, everybody just wants to beat the crap out of stuff. And so, <laughs> how did this get so scratched? Holy crap. I'm beating the crap out of stuff. Yeah. Right, it's my Spectrum uh, little smart checker. The whole face on it, it's all scratched up from something. That was that was the cat. Just tossed it. 
Did you just toss it in the toolbox and bounce around? I don't around, know maybe? what I did. It's just been sitting over there. I haven't taken it really anywhere. It just sits on my bench. Now uh, maybe something got thrown onto it. It just got put upside down and scratched. Oh. The, the new T-bone ramp. I heard it. I didn't see one yet. I need to check it. It looks cool. You haven't seen it? Oh. It was look. awesome. Buck says 150 is what Arma is charging for the new braces kit. Wow. Well, well, who makes that brace for, because for that price, I'd rather get that. Uh, that because they got the all, that, all that metal on the bottom yeah. part of the rear chassis, and then they got the two uh, top bars. Yeah. yeah so Foundry, Foundry said, got to buy everything. Yeah. <laughs> Just buy a new chassis at that cost. If it's 150 bucks, I'd just yeah. buy the two c chassis. Yeah, yeah, and two c yeah, right there. That's the one. That's the brand I'm, I'm talking about. Yeah, for that price, definitely, man. I search. thought they were doing an upgrade for people that had already bought it at a discount. Oh, I would look into that. Yeah, the, uh, um, what is it? I know people in the UK were complaining that they weren't getting the same discount that we were getting. Oh. T-bone ramps. Let's see if I can find. Isn't that the ramp you have, Tony? What? Isn't that T-bone the ramp you have? No, I have the RC Vasher ramp. Oh, that's that's right. No, the T-bone one like I is cool. It has like fold up parts, and they have one, make one for X Max that's really wide. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, they make a big one. Right now, let's see here. I'll share the screen. That's what I would recommend. Okay. That Y-X-Men, but it's sold out, so. Oh. Good luck, yeah. It's got to down, though. It's got little legs that just pivot down and lock. I wonder how strong are those, you know? Strong enough for an X-Max. Yeah. To hit it. Oh, I see. That's their mini one. They got three different sizes, I think. Oh, yeah. 16 inch wide by 12 inch tall, 24 inch wide by 17 for the 10th scale. And then. The price is on that? It doesn't show the. Uh, yeah. They one. say that to me, a tow truck, there's our price on that. When you follow on up the other way, Steve. Other way? That big to me, it was like 1500 bucks or. Yeah, they can like that. Keep going, keep going. There you go. Is there a price on that? <clears throat> the Volvo. Let's see if I. Can. Oh, I, I was thought you were talking the new one there. Yeah, that one there, the tow truck. I don't think it has a price on it. That thing does look sweet, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But what would you do with it? Well, if you had, if you had the one, same thing you do with every to me. You put it on a shelf. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you had the, if you had the, some of the one fourteen trucks, no, it'd be perfect. Really I, 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 I know what oh, Sean was home with that. <laughs> I know what Sean's gonna do with that one. I don't like this one though. Well, that's, that looks nice. Yeah. I thought these were supposed to be able to pre-order by now. The Formula E. Yeah. Hey, look, they got a green VR10. Where'd it go? No. This is just a hobby media. So. Sweet, sweet. Let's see. Hey, that that's the old original Komodo behind me there, Javier. Oh, okay. That, and when you a... buy, see when you buy just the the body for that Komodo, it comes <coughs> with like the roof rack. Comes with a roof rack. The uh, snorkels comes with everything. Like, but I, I, if I do that, I want the I want the the new body. I want the the yeah, four. Yeah. yeah. I gotta ask Jeremy. That's the one your nephew was using, right? On the USD? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. He had that one, didn't he? He had that, and he had, uh, he had the SX-10, too. One eighty nine for the T bone rip. One eighty nine. For which one, the X Max one or the? Uh, that's just what Buck put in the. Uh, Wait. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Which one is it? Dripomaniac says agreed. Tony M two C chassis is a bargain at one fifty. Given stock Harmo one is a hundred dollars. Well, that, that's not the 8S, though. I think the 8S is too high to sell. Oh, okay. I think. I'm still using the freestyle ramps. Freestyle. Uh, I'm, I'm pulling up right now the chassis price. It's two twenty, which still isn't bad. Look, look, look. It's a big chassis. It's a huge chassis. Hey, look, I'm gonna show you guys the price of the M2C for the Creighton 8S. It's, he just said it was two twenty. Uh, well, on the on the website, M2C. Wow. Crusher S chassis. 300. I think it has X, X or more stuff added to it. Yeah. Hmm. What is that? Oh, uh, aircraft. That's crazy. 300 just for a chassis. You can buy yeah. a freaking, you can buy a full size. So. Oh, that's why it comes with a center brace, a center brace, Tony. Okay. It comes with, that's why it's that price. Center if you brace. just get the M2C 3200 Armored Crate made as chest, chassis is 220 bucks. Okay. I gotta get out of here. Yeah. And now the underground. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Says, howdy all. Good to see you all. Hey, Denali. Yeah, 220. Hey, Denali. That's just for the chassis, though. Yeah, that just, just for the chassis yeah, you mentioned. Yep. It doesn't include but, the weird dog bone. No. I mean, getting all their stuff doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you're not again, have I haven't it. bet mine, so people are going crazy and laying them really bad in order to bend theirs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't replace it until I broke something or bent something. I took mine off the pit bike jumps at Digger's Dungeon. I've taken off my sender ramp. Yeah. I just haven't nosedived into anything and I haven't like cased anything. So right on. maybe I'll, I'll sing a different tune if I case something. Well, how I've driven a lot. I just had it out on my track up there in the back and those are not small jumps either. Like my, my double is taller than my send it ramp. Wow. All of the jumps are about the size of my ascendant ramp, except for the two kickers. They all have a pretty good launch on them. Have you had that? Did you get the part for the Raminator to get it back out there again or no? No, it's supposed to come in. It's in here looking like a sad puppy. <laughs> Dragging its butt across the ground right now. But um, All I need is a spacer and the... Um, the ball end or the rod, uh, the pivot ball. It's kind of a pivot ball, but it like it has a grub screw that holds it on to uh, the sway bar. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to push it further on the sway bar, and then I'm going to bend the sway bar so it can't slide off it. Yeah, because I'm sure you're etching to get it back out there. Yeah, oh man, I can't. Well, I can't do anything because it's so muddy right now. It's raining for the last week. Oh shit. I, just walking out there, I just had to the other day because it was flooding in a few spots, like lakes, massive lake size <laughs> puddles. So there's a couple spots I had to take a hoe and just make it so it would drain out. And, you got uh, holes down your way too? Yep. <laughs> Big one. North Oak, Virginia, man. <laughs> so yeah. I have the 
I have it now. And it was luckily, it's just not in a spot where you drive. I was able to just kind of make a channel off the jump face. And uh, actually, the backflip ramp area, just the side of it, drained right out. Uh, then I said the frame hex nut stripped coming out on his raminator. Who's the frame? What's the Denali? frame hex nuts? What is, what is that? Uh, I don't know. Denali's? Yeah. Hex nuts? I'm not sure. Oh, he must have been removing it. He must have been stripping and removing them to put in parts or something. That's what it sounds like. The frame hex nut stripped coming out. And his raminator. Yeah, Chris from every day, just uh, email me and let me know when you want to come on and uh, just email you the link and all you got to do is click on the link and you should be good to go. I think I found JP sent me a link <laughs> apparently what Traxxas uh, has. Uh, oh, okay. Do you want me to share, Steve-O? Uh, yeah, yeah uh, Angel Boats and Hoves. Huh? <laughs> it is it is a, a yeah somebody said it earlier two wheel drive build kit oh it's a build kit yeah with the electronics <laughs> yeah you... well maybe the drag people would buy that yeah i wonder what's the price on it you know i don't know it looks like the hcg chassis yeah but they all come with that so you might as well just build it and buy the LCG and swap it out. Yeah, yeah, cause yeah, yeah, it's not the yeah, yeah, it's not the LCG on it. Yeah, and it doesn't have the right arms, any of that stuff. I never understood why they. Oh, it, all, all, class. Okay. it all, it all, it all depends on uh, what body you get too. Well, that yeah. black body, that tough black body that we just showed, that one will fit over top of the slash arm one. Yeah. No, you have for that one. You have to have the banded arms on it. Oh. Get banded arms on it. I already checked into it. Oh wow! Oh, Denali, said, Denali said he's changing his. He's replacing the frame, the carbon. He put the carbon frame on his raminator. Oh, uh, those ones stripped on. Uh, They're taking this. Yeah. Yeah. No, they make those side plates that are all carbon, which I like because they're not red. Like, I don't. The color, the paint scheme I want to do won't go with red. That's why I haven't had my body painted. Mm -hmm. So I either have to de-anodize it or I have to buy the carbon plates instead to get black. So I wish they'd do a non-red one. No, instead of just spraying it black or something. I could spray it. It's just chip though. Yeah. So Rather than de-anodize it. Grab a roll of tape. Which body was Frank telling us that you could use uh, and it fits right over the slash arms? You didn't have to change it to the banded arms. It's the, uh, the C7? Is that it? I don't no, know. No, I think it's a, I think they're talking about the drag racer, and I think it's uh, it's the octane body you can use. That's oh, it. Octane. yeah. Yep. That's yep. It. And I think there's uh there's an there's the other there's another one there's uh it's a fifty five Ford body but it's not really a a drag body but it's got the flare fenders on it that'll fit on it too. Okay. There were a couple really wide ones that were out there that looked weird. But would work. My Donnelly says my girl gets here next week. Kind of crazy going on do chicks dig having rcs on the dining room table <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure not if she's cool with the k yeah, yeah. <laughs> depends which girl in flying cars you, you uh, are talking about yeah. <laughs> so riffraff as i said earlier just like if you take your tape Let's just use this old foam cover, for example. If you want a good straight edge on the top, you'd always run your tape, run your tape over extra, over the straight edge. Like, let's say, because the sides are never, like these sides, even though it just came off the roll, they're never sticky. 
So then just take a good sharp knife and then cut it along. And that's how you'll get a nice trimmed edge on the side of your tape. So what, what is that for? Uh, he, was just, he was just asking because he said he's dreading doing his masking. Okay. okay. Over. So just yeah. like the sides off the roll, the sides are never sticky. Yeah. yeah. And the bottom one doesn't really matter because you'll, you'll overlap the bottom one. So anywhere you want a good crisp edge, yes. always just run the tape longer. Yes. And then cut it, cut it in with a knife. Take your time, brother. Take your yeah. time. And you're a good, yeah. sharp, exacto knife, and you're yes. good to go. Brand new. Send it to somebody who knows how to paint well. Yeah. <laughs> prep, work. Yeah. prep work is the key right there. Yeah. I, yeah. I prep it into a box with uh, a mailing label on it, and I stand <laughs> it away. Stand it out. <laughs> yeah. That's why them two bodies are, them two, that, that guy's that guy scooped on are really yeah. nice. On, like you know, it's... but all, all the other bodies I've done myself. Actually, the one that's getting done from Crusher King RC for me, he actually just sent me a photo of the. So he just sent me a photo. I know it's hard to see there, but he he's designed like a logo and everything, and put Sean's RC Adventures on the hood nice, of it. Nice, night. I see yeah, it. Like, yeah, we see it. Yeah, so. He just sent me a photo while he's masking. I, I, I see there, a, that's a jar of freaking peanut butter. Peanut butter. And yeah, pizza. yeah, peanut butter symbol. <laughs> yeah, and a slice of pizza. Yeah, <laughs> but that's, he's, my, he's, he's got that mask out. That's just the hood of it right now, he said. Like, so, oh, yeah. you know, and, yeah, and he's, so he, he'll airbrush that all in there. And he's good with the airbrushing, like, you know. Tells your bride let <clears throat> motorcycles in the house. I used to have two little crotch rockets in my house. One in front of my fireplace and one right at the door. You know, those little pocket rockets. Yeah. Me and my roommate <clears throat> each had one. We used to cruise around. Crotch rocket? You have one, Steve? -O? Yeah, I had crotch rockets, but I'm saying I had a little pocket rocket too, the little oh, okay. ones. Okay. I had yeah. I had the I had a ninja, the six three six uh special edition. Yeah, I had a, that's what I had those six thirty six. Yeah. Two thousand three ninja six thirty six. Hey, Earl RC It was the first year that they uh, I love I love that. Yeah. yeah. I think I had the old L three O four. I had a pretty good crotch rocket. It was a uh, a Vespa. <laughs> <That's>, uh... <laughs> hey, it, it, they're fun. I had one when I was like twelve years old, thirteen, man, and I had a lot of fun with the girls. Yeah, the sprees. Well, I mean, mine went um, ninety miles an hour, but. Oh okay. Yeah, you had that. That's free. That's the one. The free. <laughs> yeah, the Han is free, right? It's free. Yeah, yeah. I had it in red. Yeah. Uh, as, soon, red. as soon as I got kids, that was the first thing the wife said. The R six goes. And, and, and you know what was the like, sad part of it? That I wanted it uh, a dirt bike, the eighty five. So I was so excited. And Chris like, yeah, I'm gonna get my dirt bike. And the next day, I just get freaking a spree, a Honda spree. I said, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> no. I didn't use it like for two weeks. That that's how mad I was. <laughs> I wanted a dirt bike. Then yeah, the okay. girls were digging it, so then I, then I then I, okay, this is nice. <laughs> I want to Did you put your boombox on it? And you had your boombox. Yeah, everything, bro. Can I get it right? Sure, <laughs> come on. You drive. Yeah, mine was three hundred cc, so it's it's pretty good. Nice. Uh, I had the Yamaha R six. And when I had kids, the wife made me get rid of the R6. Maybe get rid of the bikes altogether. R6, yeah. 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 So then I went, I went out and bought a Mini Cooper and took the restrictor out of the supercharge. Yeah. She was in it with me one day, and that thing would redline in every gear. Mm -hmm. And she was like, what was the point in getting rid of the freaking motorbikes? This thing's just as dangerous. She was getting her whiplash in every gear. Like, it's I, I, I used to love my Ninja, man. I had I had to let it go because I, I laid down, so I was freaking, bro, I almost break in half. Then my wife, she was crying like for two months. Oh my god, you gotta yeah. stop it! I said no, and I, then I had to. 
Yeah, I sold mine out of Harley. Went that that's, route for a while. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted when I got out of the military. But because of my back, I can't. But that's what I wanted. I wanted like a a, a shopper looking bike, you know? Yeah. Like that. What's that? A three six. That's what it is. That. Uh, eight eight three. Yeah, the one that you could, yeah, because you could customize it like crazy. You yeah, know? that's and what spend, I had was the 883 custom. You know? Yeah, without, you know, spending that much money. You get wider tires, a bunch of other stuff that kind of looked like a chopper looking one, you know. Yeah, I had that the Screaming Eagle 2 pipe for mine. So those was oh, like, sweet, wake up the whole neighborhood when I was coming down from the bar, coming home from the bar at 2.30 <laughs> in the morning. But, <laughs> The old horn, the 90 step through. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that, the that, was, that, I made. that was how I learned to ride motorbikes. A horn, the 90 step through. Yeah. Oh, Denali. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> he made uh, his sliding door bigger so you could drive it inside. I pray she's cool. So. <laughs> Brandon Timlin's a diehard Yamaha man. I was dirt bikes, dirt bikes with Yamaha. I love my dirt bikes. Uh, my dirt bikes were all Kawasaki. Kawasaki, same here. I had the 125 big wheels. Yeah. I love them, man. I, I did. I had the, one, I, I had the 125 with the power band. Sweet. And that, yeah. thing, when that power band kicked in, man, that thing was gone. Yeah, the two strokes. Back in, yeah. I had a 250, a Honda CR 250, 95, and that thing, when the power band kicked in, it was like, hang on for dear life. Yeah, it, it's crazy. Like, it kicks in. My buddy had a 600. Uh, oh my God, that thing, like, it would just like pull you like G forces. Like, yeah. That thing yeah. Scary. It's, it's like that, that 450 Honda. A buddy of mine had it. Oh my God! We had to take turns to trying to turn that thing on, man. Trying to kick. Yeah. Oh yeah. Lord, bro, because <laughs> it, it took us a while to turn that. that and then when on. that if that if you miss, oh, if if your if your legs slip and yep. the thing came back with that concussion and smacked yep. you in the back of the oh yeah, the calf. Yep. <laughs> the pressure's broke, man. It gets you right on the shin, bro. Yeah. Oh, boy. That, that was a crazy. I love that. It was too much power. Crazy, crazy power on that bike. Yeah, that's what the, the R6 is hand. You just press the button on the handlebar and the R6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. But that thing was lethal. Like that. Because a lot of the guys I run around with, and that was why the wife made me get rid of the bike because they were all putting the offs in their bikes and everything. Like, so. Every, every day RC had those. Uh... KX 250. I like those too. Yeah, not bad. Hey, guys, let's check out. We'll catch you later. Take care, Tony. Yeah, it's 1130, guys. I'm going to cut the live off. So. Yeah. We'll say our goodbyes. Uh, Jans RC, John Martin, we'll start with you. See you, see you guys later. See you guys uh, on Monday, cool. 11 Charlie, and yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to that one. The RCU next Tuesday will be in it too. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Have fun racing. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Oh, I oh I will. I'm in the middle of like I said, tearing down a transmission and cleaning it up now. I'm getting it ready. <laughs> awesome, bro. Awesome. Nice. Sean's RC Adventures. All right, guys. Thank you very much for taking the time to stop in with Steve O. And um, we'll see you Monday night on Javier's. And he has a special guest. Uh, RCU next Tuesday will be on live with him. Yes. So, Steve O, thanks very much for having me. Anytime. Mr. Talkative, Trail Critter RC. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me, Steve O. And uh, everyone, have a good Memorial Day weekend down there and stay safe. Thank you, brother. For sure. 11 Charlie Javier. Thank you, Steve, always for having us here. I appreciate it very much, brother. Um, have a blast uh, Memorial Day weekend. Stay safe out there, guys. Um, thank you to any military uh, guys that we have on the chat, any family members. Bless you all. Uh, we'll see you. 
like uh, the guy says, I'll see you next Tuesday. Bill and Jay will be on Monday with us. You're saying you're having fun. So, uh, APN Instant Time, Operation 11 Charlie Hall. Heck yeah. RC Voodoo, Daniel. Uh, thanks, Steve O. Thanks, everybody that joined. Um, Y'all make sure you hit that thumbs up on the way out if you haven't, and we will see you Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thanks, everybody that joined me in the panel. It was a good time. I like chatting it up with you guys, like always. Everybody that showed up in the live uh, typing part, <laughs> thank you for being there. And uh, definitely, we'll see you on Monday on 11 Charlie. Cool. Later. <clears throat>